Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here, bringing you another breakdown, another gameplay to help you get better at Warzone. I want to help you improve at Warzone, giving you the best tips and tricks to help you achieve higher kill games. Let's get it. All right, so I've already went through a red door. I've already got, uh, this is buyback solos back when it was still a thing. Now look at the headshot, though. You got to get the headshot. Anyways, continue what I'm saying. I uh, got a red door. Got the, as you can see, advanced UAV. So... I'm able to see exactly where people are. Uh, I can see which way they're looking, um, so on and so forth. I'm looking to try and just get as many kills as I can when I have the advanced UAV. Unfortunately, typically in solos, wherever it sends you, there's not that many people there. But this guy comes back for the chow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he was thinking. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. So... Don't do that, right? When you're playing buyback solos, there was no reason for him to come back for this stuff. Really? He was probably just coming back because he had a heartbeat sensor. But guys, there's like a million of those around. So uh, I immediately get the notification that there's someone doing a, uh, a recon. So that's a chance for me to, to push them and, and get some money. So I grab a bounty. And my thought process was, I'm going to chase the bounty. But then I thought about it for a second. I was like, I can actually push the bounty after I do this kill. These are two kills. I know exactly where two people are, so I want to push them. Now, unfortunately, I'm a little a little slow on this because I took my time. Had I just pushed this immediately whenever I saw that notification come up after grabbing the bounty, he probably wouldn't have finished until about right here, right, right, right when I was running up. So... Um, I have the heartbeat sensor. I'm able to see that he is, in fact, in uh, in police. So I'm thinking he's in the top back room. Uh, I don't want to, because when you're playing solos, and this is why, I don't want to immediately just run up through there because I'm afraid, like, he's just going to hunker down. He doesn't know that I'm here at the moment. So I want to wait to the last minute to, like, to push him or burst through a door. And I'm just, I'm just sound whoring at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where this guy is at. Uh, he's on the roof because he's the indication is showing he's right in front of me. So I haven't heard him come through another door. I haven't come, come through a window downstairs. So I, and I haven't passed him in in, uh, in the hallway. So it is 100% obvious that he is up up on the roof. So now I'm just thinking, trying to figure out, okay, well, how can I get around? Uh, in order to, to flank it. But he ends up jumping down. So I wanted to kill him. And then I noticed the other guy. I wanted to kill the first guy. So this way the other team, I mean the other enemy doesn't kill him. So I'm able to get two kills there. Versus just the one by being patient. Sometimes you do have to slow your gameplay down. Even though I probably could have ran out to the other building. Which is what I was thinking. And got that kill. I probably would have gotten killed by the other guy that I wasn't expecting. So I see the guy coming in. I hear enemy dropping in the AO or whatever that exact verbiage is. So um, now I want to hold him and get that kill. Uh, my bounty is running low, which is which is something that I'm constantly thinking about because that's another kill that I'm trying to get. And at this point, I'm figuring that he either... I forgot what I was thinking. I'm going to be honest. I, I think he just he dipped out. But I see this guy right here. I don't know what this guy was thinking. What he should have done instead of trying to crawl around like he's in the army, he should have just jumped over the back, right? He should have just got out of there, broke the line of sight, but he didn't. So we fast forward. I'm using the vehicles in order to help me get through there. I can't recommend this enough. Don't use this dirt bike. The dirt bike is fun. But it gets you killed because it's so easy for it to get whipped around and just end up in one spot where you can't do anything like that guy. He went to go make a turn and he ends up in a wall and he can't get it off in time. And Hey, you get melted, especially during that C-58 meta. And I'm thinking it's still the meta. This video is being recorded post-mid-season um, update. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's still meta. I don't know. I'm still testing out a lot of different stuff. Uh, but anyways, I, I push up here to get my, my ghost, my ghost load out. I thought that I saw someone in there when I was driving past that window, the top story, but I believe it was just a tree. So it's just, it just threw me off. I thought it was another person in the ghillie suit. 
So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do some looting because I want to try and get some more cash flow. Remember, cash flow is one of the most important things when you're playing solos. Uh, you're keeping UAV up so this way you know exactly where people are, especially in buyback. Because a lot of people, they don't care to get their load out after they've already gotten it, even if they die. Because all they care about is their guns. A lot of people just aren't aware of how powerful it is to have these perks. So you want to make sure that you, if you're playing buyback solos, that you are utilizing your loadout. So if you die, you need to work on getting another loadout. Assuming that the free one hasn't come in yet. Or has already come in, sorry. So I get a nice little, what is that, two-piece? Two-piece there? Yeah. So now I, I, I got plenty of money. You need 4500 for the buyback, so I can spend all but that. Uh, unless I'm feeling a little froggy, then you can spend it all. So that's, a, I mean, if you want to do that, you want to live life on the edge. But I got 7600 in the pocket right now. I got a UAV. So now I want to push people. Because remember, as long as they've got money to buy back, they're definitely at least dropping something. They're at least they're dropping some money. And this is just more money to be dropped, right? Because people run around with bags all the time in solos. I, It blows my mind. I don't know why, but they won't spend the money. And I can't stress that. Out. Every video we talk about it, spend the money. Make sure you're spending the money. Because, I mean, if you die, now you just gave the enemy all that money. So this guy should have just got out of there. He shouldn't have been standing in the open trying to shoot. It's, it's a Bertha. You're not shooting. Your, your shots have got to be perfect. So running him over, I just jump out, assuming he was going to run behind that rock. And he didn't, so he just stood in front of the Bertha. But if he ran around a rock, that's why I jumped out. I immediately switched to my secondary. Knowing which weapon I have is important and what you should do as well. You always want to make sure you're getting in your vehicle with your secondary ready. But in case you just get in there because you got to get other and it's your primary, just remember that for whenever you jump out. Because as soon as you jump out, you can just press uh, Y or triangle or whatever the switch button is for PC. And it'll switch the weapon automatically, right? So that's what I did right there. I have my secondary, I, I know I need my primary, I jump out and switch. And of course, we got a little rat here who wants to uh, wants to use ride shield and, 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 and all this other stuff. Easy day. If we're in a building, that strategy is going to work. But we're out in the open field, that strategy ain't going to work. You can stun me all day. You're not going to get that close with me being on a controller. This is a huge tip for you guys. If you are playing on controller... Um, even when you're stunned, your aim assist still works, and I believe it's actually amplified. So, I play on controller. So, if your console or your PC, and you're playing with controller, you get stunned. It's it's really hard to uh, to beat that person when it comes to the aim assist. Just saying, because your aim assist gets amplified. At least that's that's what I think it does. It still works. I know that much. So it's, it's kind of hard to beat him. Anyways, now we got 10 kills deep. I'm going to push this guy. Again, he's just standing out in the open, distracted by the truck. I mean, that's just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, not one-on-one. -on -one. That's just that's just that the thing that we talk about all the time, making sure that you're utilizing a vehicle, especially in solos. like Because people get so caught up in, all oh, there's a vehicle. That when you jump out of it, they're not, they don't expect it, nor do they look at it, and they're literally going to be looking the whole wrong direction. And it's just easy to kill people that way. That's why I always use a vehicle, or if I'm not in a vehicle, you will hear me say on streams all the time that I need to find a vehicle. Because whether it's solos, duos, trios, or quads, people will be distracted by a vehicle, and they won't be paying attention. Here's another thing that vehicles can do. They can provide you with jump spots, right? So I know there's guys upstairs. He's just going to be expecting me to come from the roof or to come from downstairs. He's not expecting me from just immediately being on this floor. Hearing a glass break, he probably thinks it's downstairs. So I'm immediately going to... Open one door. Now I got him confused at exactly where I'm at. I know where he's at. I get a dead slide cancel right there, but it doesn't matter. This guy doesn't even land one single shot. So, jump shotting around the corner right there. I tried slide canceling, but I got a dead slide cancel, so I immediately just went for the jump shots. 
the bunny hop. So again, the vehicle is going to provide you an opportunity to approach buildings with uh, a whole nother uh, perspective or a whole nother vantage point that the enemy is not expecting. Um, I it that that part of the video throws me off right here because he just stops like it's a stop sign. So it kind of that made me laugh when I was playing, kind of thrown off. But anyways, uh, so you just got the next kill. Uh, you got to approach. I, I don't know why I just lost my train of thought. Words. So right there, I, I leave the truck. So going back to the vehicle, right? I get rid of the truck because it's pretty much already. It's, it's like one shot. So I know there's a guy in here, um, but I don't expect him to be doing this. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. So I have the money to buy back. So I've obviously come back. Uh, I want to get my stuff. I know there's a guy, obviously, I just saw running right there. I assume that that was him, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, whenever I land in, there's a guy that ends up getting di dying. That's how I get this, this loot. But it's not my kill, so I don't get a kill for it. I pop a dead silent. Now I want to push and see if this guy's still up here. Because if he is, which he is, see the shadow? Let's go back for a second. Just a second. See the shadow? That tells me where he's at. He's right above it. And there he is. He's just sitting there the entire time. I don't... The only way you're going to get better, guys, is by getting involved. Get into some gunfights. Lose gunfights. Go to the gulag. Win the gulag. Lose the gulag. Doesn't matter. The more gunfights you get in, the more you're running around, the more you build your map awareness, the more you build your situational awareness, which are the two biggest skills you can have, and the more you're going to build your aim, right? The more you're going to learn how a typical player operates. Because you're not going to run into the top 1% all the time. It might seem like that, but you're not. There's stuff that you can do to get you better at the game, and sitting in a building isn't one of those. Now, I've played with uh, a good chunk of my subscribers now. You guys, for the most part, don't sit in corners or sit in buildings. You guys are aggressive. You guys want to go for the bounties. You guys want to go and, and chase the kills, which is something that you should be doing, and I love that. So, uh, But if there are some people who are sitting in corners that are watching the video, you know, for the future subscribers, listen. Listen to my advice. Get away from the corner. Get away from the building, and uh, you'll get better. I, I assure you of that. So we got ourselves another Bertha, completely almost full of health. Got a guy chasing me down in a car. Um, my goal right here is to break line of sight, giving me enough time in order to get out of the vehicle so that I can beam him. Uh, I don't want to be standing in the open when I'm shooting him. But this guy right here, see, sitting in this building and can't even land the shots good enough. As soon as I start getting shot, I keep running so I can turn the corner. I turn behind the door so this way I'm breaking the line of sight. And then I can turn around and try and re-engage. And he immediately pushes out with his primary. So he didn't even have a secondary ready to go. I have my secondary. It's just easy. And I jump. I break his camera. Don't sit in the corners. I cannot. Holding down a building is not going to do you any good. I'm telling you. Can't stress that enough. All right, so we know there's a guy up here, or at least he was. So now what I want to do is just try and narrow down where he's at. Is he up top? Is he down low? Now we're because now we're getting to the final circle, and what I want to do is trying to be in the center of the map, and I, and I feel like I'm hearing a guy on the roof. Pretty sure that I do. Again, I need to start wearing headsets when I'm doing this. <laughs> But um, as the game starts going on, you can start slowing down, right? Uh, right now, I'm just pre-aiming, trying to figure out where the guy is that I was having on the heartbeat and hearing. I don't like how it's playing out, so I'm just going to get out of there, right? If you don't like the vibe of the fight, if you don't like something about it, get out there, relocate, reposition, and go from a fight a different way. So I don't I just I just didn't like how that was gonna play out or how I thought it might play out. So I immediately come over here so I can get a better vantage and 
what happens is the, the guy, he was looking for me, or I don't know. So I immediately just beam him. Then I got this other guy who starts beaming me. So when you start getting shot and you're in the open, one thing you start doing is just turning left, turning right, slide canceling left, slide canceling right, just to break their camera, break their aim, and it can keep you alive long enough. So I see that there's a loadout because of my loadout has just disappeared. So I know this guy's gotten his loadout. I'm assuming this is the guy that just shot me because it's the only area that it came from. And there's a nice little truck over here. So um, that's probably the best duck I've ever got. No lie. But I beam him, he goes down, and then I push. You don't really want to push just because he's cracked. You want to push because he's, he's down. Now, I know he's got a self risk because we're playing solo. So I just want to push him and get it over with. And I was right, there was a guy who had gotten his loadout over here. Uh, there's another loadout, so there's definitely another guy that's in the area. He's probably floating in the air, so I don't want to be in that menu when he comes down. Even though he would have a pistol, I don't want to be dealing with that. I'd rather just get my loadout and get out of there. There's 12 people still left, or 11 people left, not including me, grabbing this Bertha. It's, it's a huge, huge thing to have in the end game because it's so hard to beat, but... We are in uh, an industrial area, right? We're, we're next to factory, we're next to police, where people can just sit in high rooftops and, and beam people. This is a stupid play on my part. I should have just bought like a precision and aimed it for that window. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.